Virgos, I'm Christy, you're watching Tiny Turtle Tarot and this is your reading for the week ahead. As always, if anything I say resonates or you feel it will resonate in the future, because obviously it's not happened yet, please let me know by liking and subscribing. Let's get on with your reading, what's happening for the beautiful Virgos this week. Ooh. Knight of Swords and the Seven of Wands. So Knight of Swords is all about helping. Um, somebody wants to help you out, you want to help someone out. With the Seven of Wands, you might be very resistant to letting somebody help you out, or somebody's resistant to you. This is all energy, and I don't know you to know if this is your energy or someone else is coming towards you, but it's definitely an energy of helping. And then the other person being like, oh, not sure if I trust that. Um, it's a friend? This feels like a close friend or someone that is pretty much a friend. If the way the reason I say pretty much a friend is I feel like sometimes it could be a family member, but they're more of a friend. And other people have family members that they would never be friends with. Um, but it's not, it's a friend energy. What else what's happening? What's hap what is this this week? What's happening this week? Yeah, someone wants to help. So Three of Swords is all about pain, heartbreak, illness, sickness. And obviously, I don't feel like anybody's getting heartbroken this week or sick this week. It's more about somebody wanting to help afterwards. So this week, you could be the one. You could be a nurse or something, but you are looking out for someone in particular. Or someone wants to help and look after you. Because they know you've had a rough time. They know you've been going through something. What else? Whoa. I'll try and grab that if I can. Got it. Okay. Ace of Swords. Communication. Clarity. Things are going to be very clear to you this week. Um, I don't know why I'm getting um, to-do lists come through. If you've been overwhelmed with lots of different commitments and you're like all over the place there's something about having to do list that is really gonna simplify and calm your mind down a little bit and just getting to check off the to-do list is always nice the hermit coming in the hermit is all about healing going inward this week you could find yourself being very clear on the fact that you can be in hermit mode and let people help you. And I feel like there's something where you thought, oh, I'm in hermit mode, I need to heal myself and look out for myself and go within and, you know, go along that journey of spiritual awakening for some of you. But there's something about realizing, oh, with the Seven of Wands, you're like, wow, that clarity. I can go within without having to be completely isolated from the world is is something you're learning. Ooh. Balance. You're learning balance. How beautiful. That's the word I was looking for. You're learning balance to be able to take time out, heal, look after you, be very independent, but also rest your head on others and support others and let them support you. Knight of Cups is trying to come out. What's happening for Virgo in love? What's happening for Virgo in love? You kind of got a rebirth energy when it comes to love. So you could be restarting something that you thought was done or you could be releasing something completely and starting over. Page of Wands, for some of you there's like a new flame. There's new feelings or something's been re reignited. Um, this is enthusiastic, optimistic, creative, impatient, news of exciting opportunities, allowing your creativity to soar, do things that f fuel your passion, finish what you start. So there might be a need to finish what you start with someone. Maybe something was like a little bit up in the air, not quite finished and you didn't know where you stood with someone this week. You're going to wrap something up and figure out what direction you're moving in next with them. Like, it's going to be very, very clear. There's a big 
something about clarity this week. So maybe in the past few weeks you've felt unclear. Maybe you've been very foggy and uncertain. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Again, I feel like there's an energy here of helping. Six of Pentacles is all about helping. And this is um, charity sometimes. It's a very big energy of looking out for others that are less fortunate. This says the good you do comes back to you. An unexpected inflow of abundance, borrowing wisely or paying off a debt, sharing your wealth with others less fortunate. There's something where you're going to help. Help. And when I said, for some reason, I'm just getting something about volunteering a lot more strongly now, which makes sense because obviously that's the energy around this card. Some of you are definitely volunteering in some way this week. You might not be expecting it. Like it could be very last minute. You say, oh, I'll tag along with you to a friend or a coworker. Oh, you're doing that? That's so cool. I wish I could help. And they're like, well, you can. You're welcome to come with. And you're like, okay. It's, it's very unexpected or last minute. But it's, again, it's going to be very fulfilling, I feel, to you, to you. Just as much as you're helping others, you're going to be, it's going to be lighting you up in a certain sense. The sun just came out. It's going to be lighting you up. The sun is a very happy card. It's the happiest card in the deck. So it's going to bring you a lot of joy to be able to help. Maybe this whole reading, because of that first card, I said with the Knight of Swords, there's something about someone wanting to help. There's a feeling around this whole thing of you being very, very um, good person. Very, very giving. I don't know what I'm trying to say anymore. You could feel very all over the place this week. So the, the advice, because Tarot's advice, the advice coming through would be to make sure you just write things down and go from there and just simplify it. If you're stuck in your mind, just write it down. If you're like, well, what am I doing? Write it down. Nine of Pentacles, the Moon, Three of Cups, Four of Swords. The Moon is things unseen. With the Nine of Pentacles, you might not see your stability. Nine of Pentacles is all about financial independence and being able to look after yourself. With the Moon here, you might not know how that's going to come in for you. It's here. It's coming in. You're going to be financially successful. You're going to be healthy financially. You can look after yourself. Right now, you're not seeing it, though. It's hidden by the moon. The sun's also here, though. The sun shines down on all the other cars and exposes things. So this week, you could get that sudden feeling or a little bit of clarity come in. Again, that word clarity of how you will be able to... be financially stable if you've been questioning it and there's a feeling around healing it because I was like healthy finances who says healthy finances that's a weird thing to say but there's definitely healing like you're healing your bank account you're healing your career you're healing your investments or something it's going to bring you a lot of joy it's going to bring you a lot of calm and peace I don't know why your peace and calm is connected to your money, but maybe you've just been stressed about it for a while. Um, very wacky energy all over this reading, so I feel like your week is going to be a little bit wacky, but you've been pre-warned. So try and just breathe through it. Breathe through it and stay in that energy. I'm going to wrap your reading up here. Thank you so much for watching. If anything I said resonated or you feel it will, please let me know by liking and subscribing. And I'll see you next week for Tiny Turtle Tarot Tuesdays.